how quickly can you start turning the government around? Well, I would ask the new Congress, when it comes in on January 3rd, to stay in session, and by the time I'm sworn in as president on January 20th, I would ask the Congress to repeal Obamacare. to repeal Sarbanes-Oxley, which has been costing us jobs and producing red tape. And to repeal Dodd-Frank, which is a banking bill, which is killing Dodd-Frank is killing small banks, crippling small business, and driving down the price of housing. And if you know it's a bill that Barney Frank and Chris Dodd wrote, you know how far to the left it is. And it's just the wrong medicine. It's going to create a centralized system in the Treasury that is wide open for corruption, and it's exactly the wrong solution. Now, if they would pass those three repeals so that literally on Inauguration Day, we could sign those three as the start of the administration, that would be the beginning of real change. But in addition, about two hours after the inaugural address, I want to have a series of executive orders, all of them published by October 1st, and all of them designed to enable us to change things dramatically. The very first executive order would abolish permanently all of the White House czars.